Just a quick update on some of the ads I set up last week. So if you've been following along, I've been writing a lot about LinkedIn ads recently. For a lot of my clients, LinkedIn is like the primary social media pond to go fishing in for new leads for potential clients. And I think that in particular conversation ads, I think are very effective. So I've got, I've had a campaign running since Friday, running some conversation ads. <clears throat> And what I did over the weekend, so I've had, so far I spent £37, I've had three leads, uh, £12.36 per name, which isn't quite as low as I'd like it to be, but it's well within the initial parameters for, you know, it, considering this an, an initial success. So, so, you know, if anyone tells you that LinkedIn is very expensive, it costs hundreds of pounds or dollars per lead, well, this is kind of proof in the pudding that that is not the case. What I did over the weekend, so when I launched a campaign on Friday, I, I just set one ad live because I just wanted to check, you know, is this audience right? Can I generate some leads? As soon as the first lead came through, I then created two additional ads. So if any of you are kind of, I have to excuse my voice, I've got a cold. That's why I sound like Darth Vader. Um, for any campaign that you're running on a, on a, either a long term, you know, a continuous basis, let's say, or if it's a serious test that you're putting money into, you always want three to five ads in the campaign. So this was my original ad, the one that's had two leads for £12.46 per lead. It's interesting actually to compare the click through rates. So LinkedIn LinkedIn considers because this this is a conversation ad, so it's sending messages to people's LinkedIn inboxes. If someone opens the message, LinkedIn counts it as a click. So this is not a click through rate to the website or a click through rate to the lead form necessarily, uh, but it's useful to compare the click through rate of the original ad versus these newer ads. So these newer ads I created over the weekend were a little bit shorter, a little bit a little bit more direct, which is fine. You know, I mean, ultimately it's all about cost per lead. And if I can generate leads for £6.56, then, you know, so be it. But ultimately, ultimately that's only one, one lead at the moment. Um, if I go to edit this, ad, I'll just show you how this is a little bit shorter. So I've, I've had a bit of a play around with the subject line. Um, a bit, a bit more direct in terms of mentioning the free ad template in the subject line. Generate leads with this free ad template. And then I've, the, the approach in this message and in the third ad is a bit more direct. So it says, you know, hi, so and so, have you taken a look at the advertising options on here? I've said on here because you can't actually use the word LinkedIn in a LinkedIn ad. They, they just, they just won't let you do it. They, they disapprove your ads. So, um, um, but you know, I've made it quite clear. So, some of the ad formats are good for lead generation, others are less useful in the last, and then this is this is the same as the ad that I created last week. So in the last 12 months, some of my clients have, of course, I've cut their cost per lead by more than 80% by switching to conversation, to the conversation ad format. And then this option here goes to, so another change that I made actually since the original, um, since the original ad was uh, this, this button links to the lead form where they can request the, uh, the template. This button sends them to the website. If they just want to book a call with me, if they'd like some help with their ad accounts, they can go to a page on my website where they can book that. The reason I think it's important to have both is because you want to give them a yes or a yes. If you just have one button, it's a yes, no. It's a do this or don't do this. Whereas if you give them two options, it's a this or this. So there's a bit of psychology at work there as well. So that's the um, developments in the ad creative. Um, the, other, the other thing that you can start doing once you've got some data is you can start looking at the insights on the campaign and start to refine the, the targeting audience. So what you want to do is come to your campaign and go to the insights option and it will give you a, an idea of, okay, so you've had three leads. What are the kind of top audiences? What are the top industries? What are the top job titles? So you know, I've got business, business, cons business consulting and services actually seems to have done pretty well. Um, as as advertising services, although I might take that out just because I don't really work with that kind of clients very often. 
Uh, interesting to see job titles. So the highest click through rate has been independent consultants followed by marketing consultants. And again, I don't often work with many marketing consultants. So that's, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of kind of looking at this now. I'm like, well, how likely are they to, to turn into our clients? So, you know, there's some question marks over that and I'm, I might leave it for the time being, but you can start to get an insight into here as to, um, yeah, where they are, what, what type of company they work at, um, job titles. So, you know, you can either, you can either then look to refine your campaign targeting to say, well, actually independent, independent consultants are clicking on the ad, like there's no tomorrow. So perhaps we want to narrow down on them a, a bit more. Uh, and you might see some in here that you want to exclude as well. So, um, I don't know if I go to view more, it might actually give me some more data. Yeah, it does. So, um, yeah, on the demographics, this is, this is one of the ones where actually, uh, I don't want to be shown to nonprofit organizations. So I can go, I can go back and add those as negative targeting. I can go narrow on the campaign targeting settings. I can select narrow and exclude nonprofit organizations and higher education. And any, anyone that, you know, spectator sports, anyone that I'm not really likely to work with. Um, but actually, you know, the fact that, <clears throat> the fact that I'm getting traction here, you know, from business consulting and services, tech information and internet, uh, advertising services. I mean, it's, it's, if I look at my historic client base, it's like broadly in my, in my bullpen. So it's definitely not a disaster, but, but what you want to do is as soon as you've got data, you want to come in and look at this and start refining, start refining your campaign targeting. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, hopefully I just wanted to give you a peek behind the scenes. Um, if you would like help doing this, um, you need to go to storyselling.biz, uh, I think it's forward slash LinkedIn, LinkedIn ads. Yeah. Uh, Storyselling.biz forward slash LinkedIn ads. If you would like some help uh, setting this up for your own work. Thanks.